Hey Defenders, welcome back. In this video, I wanna show you guys how we can integrate Wazoo with Telegram, which is a instant messaging platform um, and is a, a nice little integration to make to be able to send alerts Telegram group uh, in real time as they come through. And now our analysts can view Wazoo alerts through the Telegram app, either on their phone or on their desktop, uh, which is a really nice feature to implement. And now you're not you know, stuck having to just stare at a dashboard all day to try to detect high severity alerts. You can automate that process for you. And so in this video, we're going to configure that integration. So as a alert comes into Wazoo, it'll make a call and post the alert out to our Telegram group. So stick around and we'll jump into it. All right, so you first need to create a Telegram user account. Um, but after you've done that, you will get your little chat window here. And what we're first going to do is start off with a call to the bot father because we'll need to create a new bot that will post our Wazoo alerts to our Telegram group. And to do that, Telegram has a tool called Botfather, which is a, a pretty hilarious name, actually, uh, that we can uh, that we can interact with to create our new bot. And so that's that's first things first. So once uh, if you don't have the Botfather here, if you just do a search for Botfather, uh, he'll show up here in your search bar, and he has a little blue check mark uh, by his name there. And we're first going to say new bot. So we're telling the bot father, hey, we want to stand up a new bot. And he's going to ask you, okay, what's the name you want? And I'll say open secure underscore wazoo. So now we've created our open secure wazoo bot, and now we need a username for the bot. Uh, you do see here that it has to end with the, the with the word bot. Uh, so just make sure whatever you come up with that it ends with bot. So here I'll just say open secure underscore wazoo underscore bot, and it's already taken. So I open secure underscore wazoo. Let's do no underscore after the bot. Okay, good. Uh, so now our bot is stood up and you notice that we now get our API key which we'll use to authenticate with our bot so uh, we need to make sure that we copy this value down and store it somewhere uh, because we will now include these within our wazoo scripts but now let's actually create a group for this bot so we'll select our new bot that's linked here and we need to start this guy so we'll go ahead and start the bot and now what we need to do is create a group for this bot. So with our group, uh, with our bot uh, highlighted here, I'll select the little edit button here and we'll say new group. And we need to add people to the group. So I will search for my bot that we just created, which is our open secure wazoo. So we'll add this guy, we'll give it a name, uh, we'll say open secure wazoo alerts and all right now that we have that created the last thing we'll need to get will be the chat id for this group uh, and we can do that by taking advantage of this telegram tool this telegram chat id tool that uh, i'll link to in the description below here uh, because this chat id will be required for our python script that will integrate to ultimately make the call out to telegram So, and all we need to do to run this tool is to paste in our API token. So, if we go back to our bot father here, this is the API token he responded back to us. So, I will copy this guy, paste that in there. And let's actually first do a, we need to put a message into this group. So uh, this message can be whatever, whatever you want. There just needs to be some text. So I'll say, please subscribe. So now that we have our chat ID, if we jump back into our GitHub repo here, we'll see uh, we need to add our Python wrapper and then our Python script that'll actually make this call out to Telegram to post our alerts. So to do so, we just need to jump on to our Wazoo Manager here. 
and I'll clear this out and we first need to create our Python wrapper so let me I'll put this to raw and then throw these off to the side all right so we will first we will first create our wrapper um, which I've just named it custom telegram here uh, you can of course name it whatever you want and then we will copy this block of code here again this is just our Python wrapper um, so we'll save that off that looks good we'll now create the actual Python script so we'll create our custom telegram.py and then we'll copy the Python content down here and paste that there and here you see uh, we do need to make a change here for our chat ID so whatever value that we just grabbed via this tool here we need to take this value and post it within our chat ID variable here. Uh, make sure you do include the, the minus sign in front of it. Um, that is a part of the chat ID, so you need to make sure that you include that there. And then if we walk down a little bit, here we're just extracting the fields that we want to post to our Telegram group. So I'm gonna post the alert level, the description, and then the agent name that was associated with the alert. We can also add on to this. Um, I'll, I'll show you guys how we can kind of do that uh, during our, our walkthrough, so a little bit later in the video. And then we're just, and then here if we step down, we're building the message data that we're sending to Telegram with our variables that we collected here. Um, so really not too complex of a script, and I'll show you guys how we can add more fields onto it um, at, a little later in the video. So we'll go ahead and save that off. Now we need to change the permissions of these scripts here. So first we'll change the permission to the root owner and OSEC group, and then we need to modify their execution permissions, and then if we just do an uh, ls-lh, of our VOS, var OSEC integrations directory, um, our executions and ownership looks good. All right, so now that that's done, let's now pop into our OSEC.conf here, and we need to now add our integration block. So I will copy this block here and scroll down to where I have my integrations. and let's add our integration block now. So I'll just copy this value, paste it here, um, and then walking through it, so I have this set to level three, so this is saying, hey, any alert level three or above, I want you to run this integration, which ultimately would post it to our Telegram chat. You could of course specify this by a particular rule ID or a particular rule group, uh, like how we have here, so you can customize that uh, based on how you see fit within your environment. And then we need to change our API key here. So I'll erase all the way up to our, all the way up to the bot verbiage there. And we'll go back into our bot father and copy our whole, um, our whole API token here. So you'll include both sides of the token after the, uh, after the colon here. So I'll paste that in there, and that looks good. And now let's restart our Wazoo Manager and see if we can trigger some alerts. And we should see some alerts start to come in here, uh, here within a few minutes. And sure enough, uh, as soon as Wazoo came back up, we got our, uh, the port, of course, changed from open to close, right? Because we restarted the manager, so ports 1515 and 1514. And then we get our alert, OSEC server started. Uh, let me try to now log on to one of my agents and, of course, fail the password. If I say root and then fail the password, that comes back and then we get a, a user login failed, right? So we get our, our PAM alert, and then our SSH authentication failed alert. And then if I were to actually log on to this guy, we get our authentication success. So it's not really cool, right?
we're now able to send wazoo alerts to our telegram group and okay so now let's add a little more feel uh let's add some more data to this text right so to do so all we need to do is actually edit our python script here to just extract more data fields and a good way to do this is if we just go into kibana and let's go into our security events here and let's pick a field that we would want to extract out um let's get something with the authentication success let's strip out the user that successfully logged in so yeah that'd be a good one so i'll create a variable here i'll just call it username and i can copy this same block here uh, pretty straightforward and all we need to do is change our parameters that are within our blocks here uh, so we are targeting the username which comes in as data.dst user so where i have where i have agent i'm going to change to the first part i'm going to change to our first part of the field so data change that to data and then i'll change name to dst user And then I will change this agent back to data. So this will reflect whatever the first, and this will reflect whatever your first field is there. So that looks good. Oh, and actually I need to change this name to DST user as well. So, all right, that's good. That looks good. And now all we need to do is restart our manager. And we should now, once we try to do an authentication failure, we should see the username that failed to log in once this uh, restarts here in a sec. So let me now successfully log into this guy. So I'll say root and I'll say password one, two, three. <laughs> So I've successfully logged in and we don't see it. Oh, whoops. <laughs> because we need to add it as our message data block. Um, so again here, I can just copy, uh, I can copy the block above, which is our agent. And then I'll change this to our user name variable so the value that we put into this to here and here will be whatever we set our variable to be and in that case is username so let's change that okay that looks good and now restart and that should be better okay, so that's restarted let's log on to this guy again And there we go, authentication success, username root, and username root. And of course, uh, this you know this script is fully customizable. You could add more verbiage in here if you want to clean up. Uh, you want to kind of clean up just the straight JSON response you're getting back. Uh, you know you, you're more than more than welcome to do that. Uh, but I wanted to show you guys how we can quickly integrate with Telegram to generate alerts in real time and send it out to our telegram distribution channel and it's really cool uh another little fun fact if you know how we got the the chat id the chat id also happens after the uh after the hashtag symbol here uh so you can always you know instead of running this tool you can always just grab it straight from your url uh, as well so that's uh, another way to to get that but again the chat id is reflected in the python script here so that's one requirement that we need and then the last one will be our our api token that was created with our bot so pretty straightforward uh, i hope you guys enjoy the video if you do if you did feel free to leave a like uh, if you didn't a dislike and i appreciate you guys hanging out with me and i will see you in the next one